When I was younger, about 14 or 15 years old, my family was camping in a state park. Every night a friend and I would walk through the woods. We called it a ritual. This particular night we decided to walk farther into the woods than usual. We had flashlights, but we liked to navigate in the dark, so our flashlights were off. We were about half a mile from the nearest campground when we heard a quiet whisper behind us. Obviously, we turned on our flashlights and turned around. There was nothing in sight, so we continued walking and heard the whispering again. This time we stopped and looked around a bit. A lady, covered in mud, was crawling on the ground and whispering random words. We froze in horror. When she noticed us, she jumped up and ran toward us. We couldn't move in terror. When she ran up to us, she started screaming something. It turned out that she had lost her camp and had been crawling around on the ground for an hour looking for it. She must have been drunk or drugged. We walked her to the campsite where she found her friends, who didn't even notice she was gone. My wife and I went camping in Ginny Springs, Florida about 10 years ago, and one night we heard the sound of a huge tree falling that you hear in movies or television. I didn't pay attention to it. After about 10 minutes, I started hearing a lot of people talking near my tent, so I went out to see what was wrong. It turned out that a tree had fallen on someone's tent nearby and killed them. A helicopter had to fly in and airlift them out. I was camping alone in the valley with no cell phone service. I lingered on the trail and ran into a nice local dude as it was getting dark. He showed me a local camping spot close to the road and the river, but camouflaged. I made a fire, had a beer, and listened to my friend's comedy podcast. I was loud and conspicuous. Since it was already dark, I decided to sleep in the back of my truck under the topper next to all my gear rather than pitch a tent. The next morning I made a fire, cracked open a beer and started making breakfast. Then I noticed a man standing at the edge of my camp. He started to get closer but didn't look at me. The dude looked homeless, had a long, disheveled beard, and had at least a hundred plastic grocery bags tied to his clothes. I told him, nice day today, isn't it? He ignored me. I offered him to have breakfast with me, but there was no response. He sort of walks the perimeter of my camp. I offered him a beer, but he just turned around. The dude just stands with his back to me and wanders around. I realize nothing good is going to happen. I had a bear spray and a deer knife very close. I give him an ultimatum. Dude, you are either going to acknowledge me or leave immediately. He ignores me. I grab my bear mace and take a few steps toward him. He sulked away and I threw my shit in my truck and left that place right quick. I wonder if he had watched me during the night and I thank my laziness for staying in my truck instead of a tent. My ex and I shared a birthday, and every year we gathered at camp in Ginny Springs to celebrate. One night we heard this blood-curdling scream followed by a growl. We were convinced that a mountain lion fight was going on right outside the tent. We had no weapons to defend ourselves. All we could think about was that the huge cat was going to rip us to shreds. After a few minutes, I worked up the courage to stand in the tent and look through the mesh ceiling. Turns out it was a stray cat fighting an armadillo. I shouted and they ran away. We couldn't sleep for a long time yet. My parents' story, not mine. They were canoeing to nowhere, to Saskatchewan, far from any semblance of civilization. One morning they heard a noise outside their tent. Still half asleep, my father decided to get dressed and check to see what was going on. The noise grew louder and closer. Before he could gather and crawl out of his tent, something collapsed on the tent, pinning him down. Then it rose up on its own. Both of my parents, fully awake, rushed to open the tent flap to find out what was going on. About ten feet away from them was a frightened black bear, staring at the tent with confusion and concern. After yelling at him for a bit, he ran off. We believe he was rummaging through the bushes right behind the tent and lost his balance. So my dad can honestly say that a bear sat on him. I went camping with friends back in high school. We hiked all day through the mountain forest and set up in a comfortable spot. For several hours we sat around the fire and shared scary stories. Finally everyone got tired and went to bed. In the middle of the night strange noises appeared around our tent. They were coming from different directions. We were very frightened. After a while I decided to check what was going on. When I opened the tent, I immediately saw two huge glowing eyes staring at me. I froze in horror on the spot. After a while, I shouted at it. The creature jerked sharply to the side and dirt and grass flew at me. 
A few more shadows in the darkness began to jump quickly in different directions. It turned out to be a herd of deer. Apparently we camped on their trail. I was a little twitchy for the rest of the trip, waiting for more wilderness guests.